Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Raghav88. In today's vlog, we are going to be checking or testing one of the common features that is available on most of the cars when you buy top end cars. And that is not something that people use, but it has been given in all top end cars nowadays. So that feature is a cooled glove box. I'm sure 95% of you have never cooled anything in your cooled glove box. If you have, let me know what all you have cooled and what was your experience. In today's video, we will test the cooling of the cooled glove box in our XUV 500. So let's get in and see how we proceed on that. So now, as you can see, I have a outside kind of a thermometer thing which I got from Amazon. If you want to buy this, I'll leave a link in the description. It is showing the temperature is around 28.8 degrees Celsius here or 0.9. And even in the system, it is showing as 28 degrees Celsius. So which is pretty approximate and close by. So the temperature might rise because I'm sitting and due to the heat generated my by my body can show it more. So in today's video, we are going to use a small bottle of water. I think this is around 300 ml of water and see how well and how fast it can bring it to the temperature that the AC has been set to or if it can really bring it to the temperature that the AC has been set to. So let's first check what is the temperature of the water in this bottle currently. So here I have inserted the tip of this thermometer into the water bottle and completely submerged it. Let us see what is the temperature that it will cool down to. The temperature has stopped its reading. It's showing 26.5, 26.4 or 26.6. So you can say it's 26.5 uh, taking an average. So now let us put this bottle into the cool glove box. The cool glove box of uh, the XUV is not in that compartment, but here in the center console. So let me just put the box, the bottle of water into the center console and switch on the AC and see. So now from a time perspective, it is 4.38. We are going to start the test at 4.40. We'll probably give it 20 minutes uh, and I'm going to set the temperature to the lowest on the AC and let's get started. Let me put this bottle into the glove box first. And before that, let me show you if you can see, I'm not sure it is in the closed status. I'm going to open this up fully so you can see the AC vent is completely open and I've put this 300 ml of water and let's see, let's start the vehicle now. The time is 4.38 so we are going to give it two minutes of running time for the vehicle and we are going to switch on the AC you can see the AC is off currently we are going to switch on the AC at exactly 4.40 and wait till 5 o'clock and see what is the temperature here and what is the temperature that we have set and what is the temperature that is in this cool glove box what is the temperature of water can it if i put it to 16 degrees let me see if the water is cooled to 16 degrees or even below it we will get to know how efficient these cool glove box are and is it really worth cooling anything in them i'm still waiting for it for the clock to read 440 so that i can switch on the ac you can see it's switched off currently and this okay it's time so let me turn on the ac so this is an economy mode and let me show you the temperature the temperature is to the lowest and i will set the speed also because there is eight fan speed i'll set it to four here and let us check if we are getting some cool air here as well yes i can feel it we are getting some cool air I'm not sure if I increase the fan speed, if it is going to increase here, whatever I increase the fan speed, it is not increasing according to me. I'm not sure in other models, if you increase the fan speed, does the blower in your cool glove box increase? So I'm going to close it. 
so let me place that bottle rightly and here we start we are keeping it in inside circulation mode and the ac is on and in economy and it's in low setting that is around 16 degrees 17.5 the lowest is 16 degrees that the ac can set to so that's the parameters for what we are checking so the fan is in speed 4 which is half the speed because there is 8 speed settings here and it's the lowest temperature that is 16 degrees outside again it shows the same let us keep the thermometer as well here and check in our AC vents if we are getting cold air and what is the temperature so for now we are putting it in here in the AC vents and seeing what is the temperature that we are getting it's cooling down quickly 43 that's pretty rapid so let me get out of the car and not heat the car up because of my own heat so we'll come back uh, about 10 minutes later and check what is the temperature that is in this cool glove box and again after another 10 minutes so finally after 20 minutes we'll see what is the temperature of water in the cool glove box so the car isn't running the windows are closed and i'm going to close the car and wait here for 10 minutes so let me know guys if you want to do the same thing on my i20 which is five years old or probably six years old now and 84,000 kilometers done so you want to see how well the cooling glove box works on this or even for that example the ac works let me know in the comment section if you wanted to see it on the hyundai elite i20 as well for now we are checking on this xuv 500 which is one year old and has done 10,000 kilometers so it's about 10 minutes and let's go get in and check what are the temperature readings so as you can see it is 450 here you can see the ac from the ac vent is coming up to about 8.9 degrees or probably 9 degrees you can say if you round it off let us see what is the condition of this water bottle inside the cool glove box so i don't see make any difference out from outside but let's see i will open up this bottle and insert the temperature meter here and see the temperature is rising it's rising it's rising it's been rising so what i'll do is i'll probably put the bottle inside itself and check so that there's enough cooling i'm not going to try not to go to spill it spill the water as much as i can yeah it's in a position and let's see what is the temperature that's showing up it's probably not cooled at all very minimal cooling so let's give it another 10 minutes and see what are the results but the ac is cooling good outside let us see on the inside what is happening it's still rising 24.5 degrees actually guys i don't think it has cooled at all i'm not sure if this cool glove box is actually working also because i can feel the air but there's no difference that i can feel or see in the temperature gauge it's about probably one degrees which is very minimal let's give it another 10 minutes and see what happens the time is 453 we'll wait till it is 503 and check the temperature on this bottle again so I have the bottle inside again let me put back this gauge inside and check what is the temperature again of the real ac cooling after about another 10 minutes let's come back at 503 guys we are back after another 10 minutes and let us see what happens yeah it's 503 and here it is reading that you are getting an ac temperature of 8 degrees 
8 degrees air is coming in cool air it feels so good so let us see first let me turn off the ac and now let's open up the bottle from here from the cool glove box and open up this bottle and check what is the temperature that we are getting from the bottle i put this in the bottle holder and let us see what is the temperature that shows up so it's raising i don't think there'll be a lot of difference it was around 26.5 degrees when we first checked and now after 20 minutes of cooling it is showing around 23.3 degrees let me turn off the engine also and let's wait the temperature is still rising so probably because i've opened up the bottle it might be raising so we can say that it is cooled down to 23.5 degrees celsius which is probably around 3 degrees from what the temperature of water was before we put it in the cool glove box and switch down the ac and let it stay there for 20 minutes so after 20 minutes in the ac in the cool glove box it is reduced 3 degrees only 3 degrees so it doesn't make a lot of difference uh to keep this bottle or anything as such in the cool glove box because it's not going to keep it at very low temperatures so this is not a feature that you should actually be needing or going for if you are looking at a car because it doesn't work so well if anybody else has tried this or you want to try it in your car and want to show up the results please comment in the comment section and let me know what was the experience that you face and yes like i said we are going to do it on our elite i20 but depends on how many of you request for it so thanks for watching the video guys and finally i would like to say don't go behind this feature of cool glove box it doesn't make a difference at all so just try to leave that out feature out when you are going in for a car or looking for a car and look at other features because it's not going to make a lot of difference hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the thumbs up button if you did not hit the thumbs down button and do not forget to comment share and also subscribe to the channel thanks for watching